Hello, my name is Lauren Tsai, and I will be presenting on the salmonella outbreak linked to live poultry. Salmonella is a bacterial disease that affects the intestinal tract, and it typically lives in animal or human intestines that are shed through their stool. In the 2014 outbreak, a total of 363 people infected were reported from 43 states and Puerto Rico. 35% of them were 10 years of age or younger, and 55% of them were female. 33% were hospitalized and 73% who were interviewed reported contact with live poultry, which includes chicks, chickens, ducks, ducklings, etc., in the week before becoming ill. On the right, you can see a case count map where the majority of the East Coast has the cases, and you can also see an epidemic curve. Epidemiologic laboratory and traceback findings link this outbreak of human salmonella infections to contact with chicks, ducklings, and other live poultry from Mount Healthy hatcheries in Ohio. And this is the same mail order hatchery that has been associated with multiple outbreaks of salmonella in the years 2012 and 2013. I also have a SWOT analysis on the right, and the strengths were that the hatchery responsible is a member of the USDA NPIP, which stands for the National Poultry Improvement Plan, and this is a program intended to eliminate certain strands of salmonella. The weaknesses is that the public is unaware of the risk of contracting salmonella, and this is bad because they are less cautious when it comes to properly handling their poultry in a clean and safe way. Some, pol some opportunities include the NARMS laboratory that conducted antibiotic resistance testing on victims who were isolated, and of the 11 people who were tested, two were resistant to tetracycline, which luckily isn't normally used to treat salmonella and nine were susceptible to all antibiotics on the NARMS panel. Lastly, the threats are that the salmonella disease can cause death, but it is highly unlikely, and children younger than five years, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems are more susceptible to the illness and can endure harsher effects. Some core issues is that Mount Healthy Hatcheries uses multiple source flocks to obtain eggs and chicks, so it is unclear where the contamination originated, and once infected, a chicken will remain a carrier of the bacteria, and this includes their intestines, all of their eggs, and their meat when digested by consumers, and this makes the rate of infection much higher. Um, many people reported bringing live poultry into their homes and have kissed and cuddled with them, and these behaviors have definitely increased a person's risk of an infection from contact with live poultry. And even if they do not have direct contact with them, Touching items in places that have been contaminated by the poultry's environment also increases the risk of infection. So here I have three solutions to the case, and one is the USDA National Poultry Improvement Plan enacts amendments, and one of these amendments is um, a new certification program for salmonella, and participation in this program will certify their flocks are monitored for salmonella organisms that may cause illness in humans, and the intent is to reduce the incidence of salmonella and gives consumers the option to be cautious and choose from hatcheries that participate in this program. Another solution is ensuring the environments for the poultry are properly clean and well-maintained. This protects them from salmonella because if they are exposed to feces, infected rodents, or birds, then they would most likely become infected too and it is recommended to workers that they shouldn't share equipment with others because they might be contaminated, but if they do, they should sanitize with a, beach, a bleach-based cleaner. The third solution is vaccinations, and this is the most efficient and cost-effective way to maintain herd immunity and reduce transmission of salmonella, and it also provides safer food products for consumers. So through gut colonization capacity, salmonella live vaccines have been used immediately after hatching, and this promotes competitive exclusion, which in some heterologous strains from salmonella are no longer capable of colonizing the gastrointestinal tract, which results in an effective vaccination strategy. So some recommendations I have is to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water right after touching live poultry or anything in the area where they live in Rome, and adults should supervise hand washing for children that are younger, and the People who are most susceptible should not handle or touch chicks, ducklings, or other live poultry because they will have a more severe illness from the salmonella infection. So my action plan is that in the beginning of 2022, we should close down Mount Healthy Hatcheries, which is the source of the 
salmonella outbreak, and we should close it for investigation and detection of which animals are contaminated. So within three months, we should treat detective poultry that has been confirmed as diseased and enact proper hygienic re regulations within the hatchery to prevent salmonella from reoccurring. By the end of 2023, there should be two to three mandatory safety checks every few months to ensure the hatchery is followed required is following required sanitary procedures. And in mid-2023, the voluntary groups should have educated those affiliated with backyard poultry with safety procedures to prevent the contraction of salmonella. And by the end of 2023, 30, which gives us about seven years, we should see a decrease in salmonella cases due to safe practices with both the consumers and manufacturers. So this salmonella outbreak was simply due to the poor living conditions of the poultry or low sanitization standards within the hatchery, as well as the uneducated customers. And this bacteria is not something to take lightly as it is highly infectious. And my opinion is that I believe salmonella will never 100% go away, but with good communication to consumers as well as safe practices while handling like poultry, it can greatly reduce the possibility of an outbreak. And on the left, I have a poster telling people who handle backyard livestock on how to properly deal with them. And on the right, I have some posters that show the symptoms of salmonella as well as a reminder to wash your hands. Thank you.